A margin bridge is a very nifty tool of company analysis that helps you visualize how sales turn into margin and what are the different items that you know chip away sales to leave you with margin or help you visualize how your margin shifts or changes from one year to the next including the different uh, root cause for that change. Okay, let's look at the first example. What we have here is a margin bridge for Cafe Nero, a uh, retail chain of caf coffee bars. And what you have, the first line is, in mean, the first bar is sales, second line is cogs. And you can see roughly that cost of goods sold is about 50% here in that, in that instance. Then there's a bit of wastage, a bit of labor, some store fixed cost, some head office cost, and then uh, the profit margin, you know, the, the EBIT. And what you see here is how much sort of cogs and labor are the really, really big costs. And maybe wastage and uh, labor might be the one you can uh, do something on uh, internally. And uh, cogs might be ones for the buying department. Okay, So very, very simple uh, framework. Um, let's look at a second example. What we have here is sort of three years of EBITDA. And you can see that in the first year, we've got the number. And then between the first year and the second, there's a variation. And what we highlight here is four contributor to that variation. We've got pr the price effect, the volume effect, the cost effect, and other effects. And in that particular example, you can see that price has probably gone down, which is why you know, we lose margin because of lower prices. Uh, volumes have gone up, so that compensates and brings the margin back up again. Uh, costs have uh, worsened, so our costs have gone worse or um, higher, which means here takes the margin down. And then others, typically others might be what? Currency fluctuations. So some year, you know, the currency in which you primarily trade might be better, might be doing well against other currencies in which you purchase, and then it increases your margin, vice versa. Others can also be acquisition, disposals, etc., etc. And what you see is, from one year to the next, you see how in this particular example, um, the difference in margin is mostly explained by much lower price and much higher costs, uh, even though volume has helped pick that up again. And in the second year, now we're doing better. We get great increase in price. We get great, continue creating great increase in volume. Uh, the cost situation is getting better. And then we're a bit luckier with our other, other uh, contributors. So the margin is much higher. Okay, so margin bridge typically, you start at the left with a tall bar, you end up at the right with either a small one or a tall one, depending on your circumstances. And from left to right, what you do is you plot side by side some of the effects that transfer, you know, the amount you're looking at, whether it's sales or margin on the left, to margin on the right. There you go.